Hello and welcome to this grammar lesson. In this lesson we'll be looking at contrast and concession connectors. Okay, so let's begin. Let's start by asking the question, what is a contrast? What do you think a contrast is? Some people would say a contrast is comparing something with something else. Well that's partially true, but let's have a look at this example first. There's a big contrast in the way the UK are dealing with this pandemic. So this is using the word contrast. So in this example, it's basically saying that there's a big difference in the way the UK are dealing with this pandemic compared to the rest of the world. So basically, what we're saying is it, contrast is comparing in order to show a difference. Okay, so the next part is, do you know what a concession is? Let's take a look at this example. It says, I like the idea. However, I think it's safer to... So what I'm doing is I'm comparing your idea with my idea, but I think my idea is better. So a concession is acknowledging an opposing idea and then showing that it's less important than your idea. Okay, we briefly discussed what a contrast and concession is, but what are contrast and concession connectors? Let's have a look. But. We use but all the time when we're talking. Can you think of a sentence with but? Yet. Yet is very commonly used in sentences. Can you think of a sentence with yet? Although, another common word that are used as a connector for contrast and concession. What sentence can you think of with although? Here's some more, as you can see. We're going to practice some of these in the coming slides. These are all contrast and concession connectors. Okay, we're going to have a look at some examples of but and yet. Please note that but and yet are used to join contrasting independent clauses of equal importance, but yet is a bit stronger. Let's have a look at this example. The Walsh language was dying, but government initiatives are now saving it. Traditional medicine could save lives, yet modern medicine ignores it. I hope you can see how this is being used to join the two clauses. Okay, before we start some examples on although and while, please note that although is very similar to though and even though, but with even though it's a little bit stronger. Can you think of any sentences with although and while? Okay, let's have a look at some sentences. Although Germany's economy suffered great losses in World War II, it is still the strongest economy in Europe. While the few may be for war, the many are almost always for peace. Can you think of some examples of although and while after seeing these examples? Okay, now we're going to look at some examples on however and on the other hand. But before we begin, can you think of some examples of however and on the other hand? Okay, let's have a look at our own examples. The Welsh language was dying. However, government initiatives are now saving it. Please know that this is a transition, so there needs to be a full stop and however begins a new sentence. My kids don't like spicy food. I, on the other hand, love it. Now can you think of your own examples? Okay, so we're going to do some guided practice now. 
Let's do this together. Let's read the sentence together. Have a look at the sentence and read it with me. I really don't enjoy reading books. Then there's a space. It's probably better than watching movies all day. What do you think will go in that space? We're looking for a contrast and concession connector. That was mentioned before in the previous slides, if you remember. So what would we put in this space? I really don't enjoy reading books. But it's probably better than watching movies all day. Let's go to the next one. The business is making huge losses. Space. Very little is being done to prevent it. What could we put in that space? Have a little think. The business is making huge losses. Yet. Very little is being done to prevent it. Good. Let's go to the next one. Okay, I want you to read with me on this one. Some footballers support many charities. Space. Most of them don't support any. So what can we put in that space? So one of the connectors that we had in the previous slide. Some footballers support many charities. However, most of them don't support any. Good. Let's do the next one. Read with me on this one. Space, studying from home can be a challenge. It has its positives too. What could you put in that space? Have a little think. Yes, although, although studying from home can be a challenge, it has its positives too. Good. Okay, now it's time to pick up your book. Go to your QSkills 5 Reading and Writing Book, Unit 1. Go to page 29 to find out a bit more about contrast and concession connectors. But I want you to go to page 30, Exercise A. Okay, so this is what you should see in your book on page 30. On page 29, it gives you a detailed description of the grammar terms contrast and concession connectors. But what I want you to do is to do Exercise A on page 30. Please pause the video and complete this exercise. Okay, this is the answer key for activity A. Please pause the video and check your answers. Okay, I want you to go back to your book now. Um, I want us to do activity B together. In activity B, we have to combine each pair of sentences into one. We're going to use a connector in the parentheses. So let's do the first one. It says in parentheses, although. So we need to use although to combine these two sentences. So it says the children do not all speak the same language. That's the first sentence. The second sentence says they, all, they learn to communicate. So we need to use although to combine these two sentences and it's done for us as you can see. It says, although the children did not all speak the same language, comma, they learned to communicate. So I want you to complete this exercise, pause the video, thereafter the answer key will be provided. Okay, I hope that wasn't too hard. Check the answers with your answers for activity B, thereafter for more practice, please go to your LMS. Thank you for joining me for this grammar lesson.